एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विद वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम इन द नमस्ते एसक्यूएल कोड्स ओके बिफोर वी जंप ऑन टू द प्रॉब्लम आई वांट टू टेल दैट दिस असाइनमेंट इज एट द पोजीशन वेयर वी हैव कवर्ड ओनली द बेसिक्स ऑफ एसक्यूएल व्हिच मींस वी हैव कवर्ड जॉइंस वी हैव कवर्ड एग्रीगेशन वी हैव कवर्ड फिल्टर्स राइट basically we have not started anything advanced like sub queries cts window functions all those things have not been started at that point this assignment is there which means we cannot use all of this apart from this anything advanced things we cannot use we cannot use sub query to solve this we cannot use ct to solve this so we have to solve this problem using these things only whatever you see right now i will also solve this problem in the later part of the video with sub queries and ct but first let's see if i have to solve this assignment as part of namaste sql codes then how i will solve it okay if you are interested in namaste sql codes i will leave the link in the in the description box as well as pinned comment so if you want to join the codes it has helped hundreds and thousands of people in learning sql mastering that skill so you can check that out but let's Uh, go to the solution of this problem okay so the problem is we have two tables namaste orders and namaste returns right so in the codes we are using uh, bigger data sets but to keep it simple here in the video i have created smaller data sets with lesser columns okay so we have two two tables orders and returns table right it has all the orders right order id 1 2 3 up to 7 and then we have the city and then sales okay so these are all the orders placed in different cities second table contains returns that the orders which are returned contains in the return table namaste returns right so order id 3 6 and 7 have been returned these are the return items or return orders that i should say okay so i want to find cities where not even a single order was returned which means in mysore if you see there is order id 1 and 2 right none of them is returns which means mysore should be there in the output right we should have mysore in the output right because none of the orders was returned from this city but from bangalore if you see order id 3 is returned right order id 3 is returned so we cannot we, this should not be in the output right similarly from mumbai if you see 6 and 7 are returned so there are two orders returned again mumbai should not be in the output so in our output only mysore should be there okay i hope you understand the problem uh, the create table and insert script i will put in the description box i will encourage you to try out first yourself you know, without using sub queries and ct and window functions right you can use you can use joins aggregation group by having you can use filters these things you can use okay so let's let's move on to the solution one which i will solve without any advanced concept okay as if i am doing a assignment for namaste sql okay so what i should do so i i know only join segregation filters at this point so what i can do is first i can join these two data sets right so we have the order id common and i can join it and get the order id from return table along with the order table right so let's do it and then then we'll see what we can do select from namaste orders let's call it o and i will do left join because i want to see all the records from the left table why i will tell you left join namaste returns r on o dot order id equal to r dot order id right and what i will do i will take all the columns o dot star comma r dot star and if i run this you will see that there is this order id from return table it is null wherever wherever there is no return and return reason is also null wherever there is no return and wherever there is a return we have the details so we have three returns we have the details of this now most common mistake that students will do here is they will put this condition where o dot order id sorry r dot order id right so we want all the cities where there is no return so they will say if there is no return then order id will be null right so they will put this filter where r dot order id is null 
Now, if I do this, what will happen? What will happen? You see, I am getting everything, right? I am getting Bangalore also, Mysore also, and I am getting Mumbai also because at least one order is returned, not returned, right? From all of the cities, at least one order is not returned. So let me run this without this, right? If you see Mysore is fine, none of the order is returned. But here, if you see, here if you see one order is returned, right? So if I put this condition, Bangalore will also come, isn't it? I don't have to check at row level. I want to check if none of the order is returned, right? So for Bangalore, this order is returned and this is not returned, right? So if I put just this condition, right, the Bangalore will also come, and that is a problem. Similarly, for Mumbai, this order is not returned. So Mumbai will also come and this will give me all three cities basically, which is wrong. I want only the cities where none of the, not even a single order is returned, right? So how I can solve it? So somehow I have to do aggregation and in whole I have to check that for a particular city, there should not be any, there should not be any returned order. Okay, so what I will do, I'll just do a group by on city. So I will say O dot city, right? And I will just remove this condition is not required. And I will say group by O dot city, right? And here I will take count of, count of R dot order ID. It can be R dot order ID or out of R dot return reason, anything is fine. But what essentially I'm doing, when we use a count function, it doesn't count the null values, right? So for Mysore, it will give me the count of zero, right? Because both are null. So count of order ID when I'm grouping on city. So these two rows will be grouped. The count will be zero. Now for Bangalore, this count will be one, right? Because one of the orders is returned, right? Isn't it? Again, two orders are returned. So count of order ID will be again two. Count of R dot order ID, right? So if I do this now and run this, I will get Mysore, there are zero orders returned. For Mumbai, two orders returned. For Bangalore, one order returned, right? Let's call it as number of returned orders, right? So this is number of returned orders. Now I need only the cities where number of returned orders is zero. So I can just, because this is a filter on an aggregated value, I can say having count of R dot order ID equal to zero, right? So if I do that, I will get only the Mysore, which solves my problem and this is the output. So this is a very common mistake students do on this question. Okay, now let's say you have learned everything. Now again, you come back and solve this question, okay? So how you will solve it? So let's 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 query these tables again. So let's go with solution two, and let's see what we can do. So if you see, if I can run a subquery and see which orders are present here, right? I will find which cities have at least one order returned. So if I say select a staff of the orders where order underscore id in right and select order id from namaste returns right so what will happen it will give me all the records where the order id is present in return table so let's run this right so we got bangalore mumbai mumbai we did not get the mysore thing right so I can just say distinct of distinct of city from here, right? I can say distinct of city and I will got all the city where at least one order was returned. And I don't want these cities, right? I don't want these cities, correct? So I can say select distinct city from Namaste orders where city not in and this thing, right? I can do this, right? Select city from Namaste orders where city not in, I don't want these cities where at least one order is returned, right? So it will give me Mysore.
you see i am getting the meso okay so so this is how you can solve it using subquery there are many other other solutions you can solve it using ct or exist not exist there are bunch of options maybe if you have some a simpler solution do put in the comment section but uh, i think in the assignment we had to solve this without without the subquery so it was a little tricky because we have to get the aggregation and check the count i hope this makes sense uh, do like the video share the video with your friends have a good day